What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm KSCG, and welcome to my reaction to the Lego Star Wars Special Number 3 by Flapjack Films. So let's waste no time and get started. Three, two, one. Oh, what's going to happen here? Aww. Luke's character dev <laughs> Oh no. You came alone, right? Oh. Glad they didn't show that. Hello there. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Jedi guy says hello there to the cyborg war criminal. What are they, college roommates or something? This dialogue makes no sense, George. No, 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 you don't get it. In ten years, this is going to be the best scene in the movie. I'm willing to work with you here. I just think the script could benefit from a few rewrites. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What? Did you get to the part where, where Obi-Wan Kenobi rides a giant iguana and chases after General Grievous on a unicycle with legs? You need help. <laughs> there will be a substantial Personally, I don't think the prequels are bad. Falcon. You are free to use any methods necessary, but I want them alive. No disintegrations. Hey, check it out. Looks like the traveling space circus is in town today. Um. Starting now. Lord Vader, are these really the best bounty hunters you could find? I mean, I'm pretty sure that guy's head is a cocktail shaker. Yeah, I'll have a daiquiri. <laughs> Would you like me to put that on your tab? Of course. These are some of the finest mercenaries the galaxy has to offer. Hey, is there any toilet paper left in there? Why? You need more to wrap around your head? What? No! That's ridiculous! <laughs> you didn't answer the question, though. Alright, maybe I could have looked a bit harder. Ooh. What's gonna happen here? Is Yeti gonna come first? Welcome to the Himalayas. Or that? Or that? Freeze. Yeah, I've been doing that for a while now. As acting members of the Hoth Wildlife Sanctuary, we're here to inform you that you are in direct violation of the Wild Wampa Conservation Act for that little stunt you just pulled back in that cave. What? I was about to be that thing's dinner. Oh. I hung from the ceiling. That's actually a traditional sign of Wampa hospitality. It's true. I once hung from a ceiling for three hours while attending a Wampa Bar Mitzvah. Granted, I did pass out after seven minutes, but I was there for moral support. Okay, whatever. What's my fine? Well, since this is your first offense, we're gonna let you off with a warning. Just don't go thinking about hurting any other animals in this sector. Hey, Luke, I sliced the Tauntaun's guts open, so it's all ready for you to sleep inside it now. Oh, no. Who are these guys? Really, not a good time, Han. If we continue at this pace, we'll reach the settlement by sundown. Let's hope so. This heat is about to trump my patience. What did you just say? I said this heat is really trumping my patience right now. Uh. He's listening to you. You know, I think it's time we make this game. What? Again. Cara, no! Welcome back, Mando. Where's Cara Dune? She, uh, she died. What? How? Cara Dune's political views did not align with those of her employers. <clears throat> the, uh, the sand people got her. Sand people? I could have sworn their nearest camp was at least 12 parsecs from here. Well, I guess their settlement patterns aren't quite as conservative as we may have thought. Hmm, maybe. Hey, Mando, speaking of conservative... What? No, no, don't say it! What do you think about Donald Trump? Get him! It's jammed! No comments. We travel at the speed of no light, comments. But our doors still can't work. Well, have you considered someone might be using the force to hold it closed? Oh, yeah, right. Like, there's a Sith Lord at the end of the hallway. Uh, yeah. Before we die, I'd like to say I told you so. I hope he throws you into the ceiling. 
Here's any. <laughs> Tell Jabba that I've got his money. Hakutari, don't you want to blast the impa? Good evening, gentlemen, and welcome to the Creature Cantina. Our specials for today are the Bantha Liver and the Minox Stew. Would you like to order first? That depends on which special edition you're watching. Well, I've been Jeremy. If you need anything, just shout McClunky. Oh, special edition. Since you shot him before he got the chance to order, I'm going to have to ask you to tip double. Where is it? The map to Skywalker. I'll never tell. You don't scare me. Very well. I have other methods of interrogation. Wait, is he gonna take his what? suit off? You're going to give me a false migraine or something? Oh, much worse. Play the tape. Wait. Wait, is, is he showing her the prequels? Wait, is that from the holiday what special? The Star Wars holiday special, widely regarded as one of the worst pieces of entertainment media ever made. Oh God, it's it's so bad. I hope you enjoy all ninety-seven minutes this? of it. No, please. Is that everything. how long it is? I'm sure you will. After the credits. No! No! Sounds like another prisoner is being forced to watch the holiday special. Works every time. <laughs> All wings report in. Red 4, standing by. Red 7, standing by. Red 5, standing by. Red 3, <laughs> sitting by. Shut up, Red 3. Nobody likes you. Lock S foils in attack position. Nice. Red 5, you just turned your blinker on. Sorry, still getting the hang of this thing. Jeez, they're really letting anyone join the Alliance these days. Am I right, Porkins? <laughs> red 4, cut the chatter. Hey, I'm Red 4. That was Red 7. No, no, I'm Red 7. Pretty sure you're talking about Red 3. All right, all right. If you're Red 3, say here. Here? Wait, are, are you saying Red 3 or Freddy? <laughs> because I also go by Freddy. Yep, we're doomed. Ooh. Yield. Oh, just a second. Go for Gideon. Yes, yes, my apologies, Mr. White. I'll get you your credits as soon as possible. Sorry about that. What? I run an underground death stick dealing business on the side. You know, for an oppressive galactic regime, the Empire sure doesn't pay very well. So you agree to yield? I do, although I should inform you that technically it was the child who disarmed me in combat, making him the rightful owner of the Darksaber. What the- No! Well, I can't rule Mandalore without the Darksaber. You could have just taken it! Nobody cares about the stupid code! Oh, on the contrary, Mandalorians take this type of thing very seriously. Shut it, mustache! Greetings, Exalted Ones. I've come to recruit your Force-sensitive child. Oh no. Why are you looking at me like that? The heck is wrong with your face? What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with my face. What? Well, you've definitely entered the Uncanny what? Valley. Oh, I'm what? Sure You're still... Same thing here. People I are still poking fun at the digitally aged earlier. stuff. Well, gee. Thanks for the kind reception, everyone. Surely you won't have anything bad to say about my sister Leia here. It looks well, fine. Don't. I mean, in Rogue One, the digital faces were fine, but... I think you can turn no, I, I won't go on a rant. Child. Sorry. I cannot be betrayed. I cannot be beaten. I see his mind. Oh, great. He's monologuing again. So much for the softball practice tonight. Man, I never noticed how boring this room is. It's like they just hung up one massive red curtain and called it a day. Guess the First Order really needed a couple thousand stormtroopers, but not one interior designer. The Supreme Leader can't actually think that gold bathrobe looks any good on him. 
Well, I guess nothing looks good on you when you've got a moldy raisin for a face. Man, I hate this job. Wonder what the other guys are thinking about. Whoa, whoa, was I out? Hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> well, that's you missed good. something. Copy that, Commander. Sector is clear. Cortana, scan for Covenant interference. Oh, hey, hello. Buddy, state your name and identification number. Sir, Clankers. Looks like we're gonna need reinforcements. But why don't why don't let him just take it on? Uh -oh. <laughs> See? Uh oh. I wish I was that cool. What I wouldn't give for opposable elbows. <laughs> Greetings, like Madeline. a boss. It is my understanding that you are eligible for a new set of Fiska armor. It is my highest honor to craft such a prestigious reward for your. You must excuse the noise. Such are the consequences of operating a secret bounty hunter organization beneath the town sewage line. Now, as I was saying. Yeah. I knew I shouldn't have had that Minox stew for lunch. Okay. Oh no, just I'm break. I'm ditching this whole underground cult thing you guys got going on here anyways, so uh, here's what I look like. No take backsies. See ya. I can't believe that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. Oh. Here, kid, take this key and escape out the temple's back exit. What? So, weren't our orders to eliminate all the Jedi? Are you serious? I was making fart jokes with a frogman named Jar Jar two movies ago. You think I'm gonna jump straight to child murder? Well, your eyes do look pretty evil right now. Ah, uh, that's just my allergies acting up. Coruscant's terrible this time of year. Just took care of all those Jedi kids in the hallway, sir. What? You didn't shoot them, did you? Negative, sir. Oh, thank God. A few thermal detonators did the trick just fine. Well, just kill him. No more Jedi left. Ah. <laughs> Okay. That was fun. I think that would have been an interesting uh, plot twist for Revenge of the Jedi. I mean, I'm sure it's regarded as the best of the prequel trilogy. But I think that would have been interesting for Anakin. Like, even though he turned evil in the third film, he, he may have had a bit of good in him or something. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and comment below if you want me to do more reactions like this. So until next time, I'm KSCG. Wash your hands, and I'll see you next time.